Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Blue. We're here. We're back with another video. Let's just go into this really quick. So this was going to be from Charles Kirk. Once again, this is when Charles Kirk and Vivek Ramaswamy go into, where's it, Pittsburgh, the University of Pittsburgh, and talk to a couple of college folk. Um, I haven't done the whole video. I haven't seen the whole video, but it was literally, my daughter had sent me a clip, and I was like, I have to see i have to make sure that these people see the ridiculousness is ridiculousness the word that i want to use i think the term that i want to use is misguided misguided in reasoning and decision making in a sense where i'm not trying to discredit her thought process but i guess at the end of the day i am but really it's like do you you don't hear what you're saying type situation is kind of weird this one is fairly short but i just had to make sure that it was put out there that this is some of the thought process of a lot of college folk and like i said before when you I, when i was in college my mindset was very very different almost kind of to the point of her nah not really to the point of hers what am i saying but it was very different in a way that the way that I view politics, the way that I view, you know, the election and stuff like that rarely affected me. And I think the way that people should vote should vote based on how immediate the changes will affect you. And in college, a lot of what's happening doesn't really change what happens to you in college. You're in college dorm, more than likely have student loans. And if you don't and you work, then you go work. And then you take classes and then you rent an apartment and then you go about your life as though in your college environment as though nothing else in the world really exists until you go outside into the world you don't have to worry about heavy bills you don't have to worry about a more let me let me pause most people don't have to worry about a mortgage high mortgages uh uh two thousand plus dollar mortgages or rent most people don't have to worry about that at the moment yes you take out loans but at that moment during your years at school most college folk do not have to worry about that they more than likely don't have to worry about a lot of their bills they don't have to worry about their car notes all they worry about is just their education most not all i know several that have gone through like had to take on a lot of stuff because their parents couldn't or didn't want to assist. And that's just the life that they had. But in most cases, when you're in college, you're just worried about yourself in college. And then what happens politically wise doesn't really affect you. Policies don't really affect you. It's mainly what the what the candidate says that they're going to do that usually affects most uh college voters decision and it's not the policies and whatnot unless it's like something serious like fracking and oh the fracking is gonna affect my dad's job or something like that and if it affects you, again affects you immediately then of course you'll vote accordingly um but outside of that when you're in college like especially for me most of the stuff that the republicans and democrats were saying back in the day didn't really phase me immediately but it more so tended to my emotions. And so that's how I voted the way that I did. But now with this whole woke thing that's going on, it's kind of so weird how the mindset is just shifting. I know I had an interesting mindset when I was younger, but the stuff that I'm hearing, I'm like, yo, who, <laughs> who told you this? Where are you getting this information from? But anyway, let's get into it really quick and see, see what they talk about yo what's going on everybody the time is nigh we're getting so much closer to getting to a thousand subs and as promised we're going to be doing a giveaway two people are going to get a chance to win 25 dollars gift cards to amazon all you have to do is just hit that like button press that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed go down to the description where you're going to find the link to enter for the giveaway and once i hit a thousand subs i'm going to go ahead and do a live i'll let you guys know ahead of time we're going to do this and as i mentioned before the more that the channel grows the more that these giveaways are just going to increase so y'all stick around and y'all go ahead and watch these videos let's get this thing up let's go ahead and get back to the video yeah i'm julia i'm also a first-time voter i just have a simple yes or no question if if the only way to ban abortion forever would be to bring back slavery would you do it no 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 i i, I wouldn't bring back slavery to try to limit murder no okay 
what, what kind of outrageous question is that, by the way? It's, I'm just curious. Just no, yes but, or no. Can I ask you a question then? Okay, before he asks a question, you see the valid, the not valid. You see the extreme that she went. First of all, this is a hypothetical question. I get this is a hypothetical question, but this is a question that in in a situation like this, in a matter like this, where stuff is being put into place, you're bringing up a hypothetical of something that could majority of the case not even happen. I don't really see there ever being a time in the world unless there was a extreme dictatorship where they're going to be like abortion, slavery. What kind of question? How, how are we being productive with this question? Where's the productivity in this question? How are we learning with this question? It doesn't make sense. Again, this is stuff that college people, I mean, not even college people, adults, they even do this too, but it is a weird enough question. Majority of the people are going to say, no, they're not going to bring back slavery for that. Let's see what Charles says and see her and see her response. Uh, sure. If, if the if the only way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion, would you ban abortion? If the only way to limit human suffering, so all the suffering that everybody has, whether it be financial suffering, uh, uh, physical, mental suffering, hardships and stuff like that, if the only way to limit it is to ban abortion for everybody, which means that everybody lives happier in a sense, is to ban abortion. That's his question. Uh, to say that again, ask that again. If the only way to limit human suffering is to ban abortion, would you ban abortion? No. This is college folk. This is this is the woke mindset. Now she's smiling. I feel like she's trolling just for the heck of it. And I feel like she knows that she's going to be on YouTube. So there's probably many people that's probably looking her up. But just the idea to say something like this, I know I I don't know. I feel like she didn't think through it. I feel like there wasn't just much, much process that was going on. I feel like she doesn't fully understand the question. But I think she just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It was an honest answer. Okay. It was an honest answer. Yeah. I just yeah, we it. disagree. We probably disagree with you pretty deeply on that. But thank you. W yeah. When does life begin in your estimation? <coughs> I just wanted to ask a yes or no. That's it. No, sure. But when does life begin? See, and that's and that's and that's the thing with a lot of people that speak, especially the, both people that are. I try not to get into this. And I hate looking into it on the one side, but there's just always the same thing that's occurring. The left doesn't have much evidence. They don't have much foundation with everything that they say. They just ask. They just say things for the heck of it. And then when you press on them about them, about whatever it is that they're saying, they got nothing like why would you ask? We're out here trying to be serious, trying to learn and understand each other and stuff like that. You just out here just asking questions. Get out of here, bro. That's all I wanted to ask was a yes or no. Okay, I, I could tell you thought deeply about this topic. Yes. Okay, thank I you. Have. Great. Yep, next question. Yo. And I, and again, I just saw a snippet of that one. I didn't like now that I'm looking at that, like the actual full video and seeing everything. Um, I really think that she was trolling. I, I think that she was trolling and coming up here and asking the question, which is not okay. I think the problem that I'm seeing a lot lately is that people are not taking things seriously and not, oh, we need to do this or else you're going to be excavated, ex exiled or excommunicated and stuff like that. I'm not saying that we need to get to that level when it comes to seriousness. But when it comes to really trying to understand, trying to gain wisdom, trying to see somebody else's perspective, you need to come in it wholeheartedly. And this is one person that didn't do it well enough. I don't like that she came up here, but she kind of gives me that those vibes that I mean, just looking at her, I'm just like, yeah, you're not serious about your conversations. You just out here partying, listen to whatever you listen to, hear whatever you listen, hear whatever you hear and don't question nothing. So this is kind of my side that you have. And now you being a first time voter, you're just going to vote with your head up your butt and not really dig into exactly what's going on, which again, this is a lot of the college mindset. Um, 
But regardless, I just needed to make sure that everybody heard that these are responses that I hear a lot with types uh, types of responses that I hear a lot when it comes to certain situations. They just give these ridiculous answers, but they have nothing to really base it off of. Interesting enough. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.